Another one bites the dust. Victory! want some. Darlings! Thank you. 
We did it, darlings! Else wants some. Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It 
it strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches? Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. They do. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. I have not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? It's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm.
So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? So fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I... <gasps> oh! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her home. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Now, laddie, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm. Jasper, how did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. <laughs> Can't move! Tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death.
don't I show you how it's done? Can't get through that aura. What? What is it? Uh, it's a power the like of which we've never seen. Could he be? This is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or... Not one step further, Jasper! Hmm? Uh. Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world! <laughs> Confess, scoundrel! Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of His Majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. You have served me well, Hendrik. Your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? Is an honor to serve you, as always. <laughs> Lord Mordigan. <laughs> so that was it. 
the king was. He was Mordigan all along. Hmm. Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. This is the power of the Luminary. The key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. And this blade is the Fable Sword of Light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. The Sword of Light! What has he done? Almighty Yggdrasil! Source of all life! What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? No, Mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You... I... I want to be friends with Jabber again, Mum. What should I do? Why, well, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. 
try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night-night, Mum. Night-night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Yet, Master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good. If that is the case. Then this world is mine. 